In this demonstration, I will be showing you how to use the basketball edition of Presto Stats. After you've scheduled your event uh, within Presto, you can click on the date and time for the event, and if you have access to Presto Stats, you'll see the Launch Presto Stats button here in the right corner. When you press that, the, stuff, uh, the software will load as it's an all browser-based software, and the first item you'll be prompted with here is how you would like to score the event. Uh, live scoring is going to be your traditional live entry method that's used uh, in an in-game scenario. Uh, score sheet entry is used for entering the stats after the fact. So if you're entering uh, stats for players off of a scorebook or something like that, you'll want to use your score sheet entry. For the sake of this demonstration, we'll be using live scoring. There's two items you need to address before you can begin entering plays. The first is uh, go into the game setup by pressing this edit button here. And there will be some uh, voluntary information you can enter, such as team records. You can change these team IDs here, and it will basically change how the team name shows in the stat software, just in case you have two very similar team names. Um, and, so put in your records, adjust your team names. You can put in the name of your officials if you want, any game notes. And then uh, the key in the one required field before you can begin entering stats is your arena slash venue. Enter that however you'd like. And if you're playing a women's game, uh, you'll want to come down here, or any that happens to play quarters or different time periods, come down here and adjust that in this lower area. So we'll switch it to quarters and 10-minute periods for women's uh, NCAA rules. For this sake, we'll keep it to the 20-minute halves for men. You can also change your overtime minutes. And if your event is a conference-neutral exhibition, this will carry over from the event setup, but just in case you forgot to do that, we can go ahead and mark this as conference here save and now our game setup is ready if you ever need to adjust that at any point you can always come back to your setup here uh, after the fact you know to enter your attendance or anything like that the other uh, item to take care of before you begin entering stats is your starters we have rosters in for both teams and if you um, if you and your opponent are both presto clients and they have roster, then they'll have a roster in our system. It's going to automatically pull into the Presto Stat software. If uh, by chance your opponent doesn't have a roster in here, you can get their roster file and import it using the import stat crew roster um, file, and that's just going to look for that roster file type to import and add it in here for their team. Come down here to set your starters, and we'll just check off five for each team. Now we're all set, and it kicks us back to our Add Play menu where we can begin entering stats. Presto Stats keystrokes are uh, identical and mirrored off of Stat Crew, so if you're familiar with the Stat Crew keystrokes, uh, you'll be in luck here with Presto Stats. For all of our sports, they're the same keystrokes. So to start your clock and stop your clock, it's just going to be your space bar. We also have everything with uh, mouse click capability. Sometimes it's easier to train newcomers um, how to use a mouse as opposed to the keystroke shortcuts. So you can start and stop your clock with a click of the clock here. Um, and you can click in any of these boxes, but then also whatever that underlying letter is, that's going to be your keystroke. So we'll just go ahead and begin entering plays. But we'll act as if uh, Stats 2 actually won that opening tip, so we'll change our possession. And now we're entering plays for Stats 2. Say that number 5 shot a 3-pointer. And it was good. Assist to 17. And you can see right here that our stats have been uh, showing here in the full play-by-play. -play. Let's say that you realize, wait, that was the wrong assist. To quickly enter this play, uh, you know, if you have a second in the flow of the game, just click the timestamp here. Click Edit. And we'll say, actually, 16 had that assist. Save it. And you'll see it's now adjusted. Um, now we're back with stats one that has possession. Give them a shot, miss shot, defensive rebound to five. And you get an understanding of its basic stat flow entry at this point. Uh, if we took a look, uh, if that first, very first play is now cut off from here. So if you just click the full play-by-play, -play, you'll be able to see the full breakdown of every play. And then once we're in the second half for this game, that you'll be able to toggle between the first and second halves. So at any time, you can come in here and edit plays, uh, whether it be at halftime, after the game, the next day, anything like that. You can come back in here and edit those plays. We have a dead ball, so let's go ahead and do some substitutions. 
And this is one thing that can throw people off initially when using Presto Stats. You'll use your H and your V keys as designated down here to switch between teams uh, for home and visitor when entering stats, or when changing lineup, sorry. So we'll click V to switch over to the visitor screen, H for your home team. And it's pretty simple from here. Uh, we'll take eight out, put in 17. And for the visitor, we'll just go ahead and take eight out as well and put in 22 and go ahead and submit. And now you won't notice those show up here on the side, but if we go into our full play-by-play, -play, since there's so many subs in basketball, we have a different substitution report. So you can come here and see those subs that were made and the timestamps for which they were made in the first half uh, for each team. Now if we go back to our full play-by-play, -play, again, the, uh, the substitutions are not going to be in that play-by-play. -play. Everything else uh, is pretty standard run of play for basketball. Um, We'll enter a turnover here for 15. Uh, we'll give the steal to 3. Pretty standard basketball entry there. Uh, if we want to go ahead and we'll, uh, you can reset your clock at any time. If you you know fall behind, forget to start, something like that, you can come in and I'm just going to go ahead and set it to end of the half. So we're end of our first half and we'll go into our game control. And we'll go ahead and start the second period. And save. And now we're in our second period, and we're ready to go to begin that second half uh, whenever they get underway. And you'll notice that the uh, possession arrow is going to go right back to stats one there. And now with stats one having possession, we can go ahead and begin the second half, running our clock as we would expect. Go ahead and stop. We're going to call a foul on eight and go ahead and shoot some free throws for number 17. Good free throw. And our second free throw for 17, no good. Offensive rebound to 16, run our clock, and they put it back in for the field goal. Pretty standard play right there. Again, uh, basic entry here, very similar situation to anything. If you've done basketball stats entry before, uh, it's going to function just as you would expect um, any other stats entry to function. We'll go ahead and end our game here. See, our clock is set. So now we'll go back into game control. You can balance your stats. Uh, not really going to be much to balance here minutes rebounds wise since not much was actually played and done but you can see where that's done in the game control and once you're done with your balancing and everything you can wrap up and um, this just kind of walks you through everything possible that you can do edit your play-by-play -play. again uh, balancing minutes balancing rebounds throughout here uh, print the score in the play-by-play -play report complete your game information again it'll take you back to the setup screen um, where you can put in your attendance and everything like that. And one thing you don't want to do on that screen is update the records manually because you'll want to come back to this screen and hit finalize game and update team records. The system will then automatically update the records, mark the box score as final. That's an important step. Um, we didn't enter records to start the game, so it's not going to be able to update them. Let's do that real quick. Cool, so our records have been updated, and now if we come into our reports tab, you can come in here and we'll be able to access our pack file and the XML that you can quickly download. Uh, as an NCAA institution, you can click the NCAA, send to NCAA button right here, and if you have that functionality set up in your stat partners, it's going to automatically uh, take care of that file uploading to the NCAA. If you're an NAIA or NJCAA member, because uh, they are uh, they work with Presto, and the Presto network is a uh, wonderful thing. Those files will automatically be shared with those institutions uh, and the organizations as the game is going on. Uh, your scores will be automatically updating on their websites, on your region websites, at your, on your conference websites, as long as they're Presto websites. 
And the same goes for your opponent. If your opponent is also a Presto opponent, the score is going to automatically update on their site, and they're going to be able to access this screen right here, which if we refresh, will show that our game is final. Uh, and they'll be able to come in here and download the pack file and the XML straight from this screen. Of course, you know, it's always worthwhile to send it to your opponent, but uh, not always necessary because they can come in here as long as they're a Presto client um, and get these files. That is a quick overview on the men's basketball uh, software. <clears throat> Thank you, Neil. Um, one thing I did want to highlight about the uh, Presto Sports Network is uh, what Neil mentioned. If your game is at is on the road at a Presto Sports opponent and you pull up um, the live stats link, your fans will stay in your website. It'll show all of the stats live um, from the opponent's venue, but your, your fans will be seeing it in your branded website. Um, <clears throat> for stats also, uh, or for the videos, I just want to reiterate if there was any lag or if you had any technical issues, we will have all of these online um, and emails will be sent to each of you that registered um, to, to view these later. Uh, so let's get to any questions. Neil or Katie, did you have any questions? Uh, it looks like we just got one here that I'll, I'll answer. Go ahead and answer live here. Um, okay. Regarding t testing of Presto stats, we have a, um, that, and that's what I was actually using in those videos. It's our stat platform, uh, Try Presto Stats. Uh, you can just reach out to our uh, client care team and we'll be happy to send you the links and information uh, to test out Presto Stats. We have uh, available test platforms for all the sports that we offer uh, within our stats product. So uh, it's a great easy way to try out Presto Stats and uh, get a feel for it, train people, things like that. <clears throat> 